What's up guys? I'm going to show you the bottom of my screen. It is 4.29 a.m. I have been up all night the last few nights trying to get this update out and it is out. So we will get into that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gone. So I'm just going to try to get this video done as quick as possible. Update is out. Uh, so the main thing is an invention's killing boss. I made a video yesterday. Um, sort of showing off where my progress was. So I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll give you another little run through and sort of a quick guide. If you have a golden hammer, it, it's really useful. It's re really useful here. So get a golden hammer. If not, just a normal hammer. You need a hammer. Um, come to colon colon effigy. Basically, exactly what this dude typed. Uh, talk to effigy. Quick start. Now, with multiple people, this should be pretty simple. Uh, you, you can see there's this little blob. This is the boss, the homunculus. Hom Harmonicus. Yeah, it is mage based, and you can just sit there and pray if you want. That is an option. Let me put the XP on so you can see the XP. Yeah. He doesn't have very many like crazy mechanics you have to worry about. It's really just sort of tanking him at the different levels. He is on every level. Um, so you fix the machine and collect these rivets. Keep these. Uh, Five hundred equals one reward ball. So, yeah, just sort of fix it. Um, your invention levels do matter. Your inven invention levels improve your chances of, of uh, fixing it. And then your golden, golden hammer has a boost as well. Um, so move to the next phase. Uh, if you have a Serp Helm, wear a Serp Helm, because this phase uh, has the possibility of poisoning you. Um, and if you have a Serp Helm, you won't get poisoned. Or if you just bring an anti-poison if you don't. I've tested this a fair bit, and it is very possible to do on a brand new account just created. Um, obviously, this thing can kill you. It does hit. It, its max hit is 9, but for some reason, even though its max hit is 9, I've seen it hit ten. It hit tens, which is confusing me because... Okay, we just... Did I, I mean... Alright. Alright. Okay. There we go. And we did get poison rip, and I just <laughs> yeah, that took way longer than I expected. I think it's only like one in like twelve. It's not like crazy chances. So go down to the second floor, just avoid him. Um, so there's a map here to show you which ones are active, and and where you know where where you're supposed to go. Use that map if you need to. This link will be in the description below. Um, so spawn the correct symbol of life, or you spawn at them, and then use the hammer on the thing. Bash it in the fucking head. Um, a normal hammer does 10 damage instead of 50, so that's why you can see how there's a, a nice advantage to the uh, having the golden hammer. Come up over here. Skip this one. This is one of the dead ones. Or broken ones that it doesn't matter. Activate up here. You can see how people kind of just disappear and come back. That's just so that like there's no confusion of, of what's going on. I'm actually pretty happy with the code. I hope there's no problems with it. It is something I've never done before. Exactly. Uh, so hopefully there's no issues with it. So far everybody seems fine. Uh, no errors in the console that are pertaining to this. So that's good. Come over here. Get this one. It is confusing. I understand that. Getting stuck in the wall, mate. It's possible. So it helps not to spam click. The, there is a timer delaying you, so you don't actually, every click doesn't actually have an action. So there's no real benefit to spam clicking. Um, but the problem with spam clicking is sometimes you'll just like, you're, you'll teleport, not realize it, and walk into like a wall or something. So just avoid that if you can. If you tell you how all your progress is lost, yeah. And as you can see, it's not a whole dangerous. Like, I'm not, like, it's kind of hard to tell because I don't have food and I don't die, but. Just bring a couple food. It's not. It's not too crazy difficult or anything like that. Not not compared to Tuz, where Tuz can actually fuck you up. So once you have the four supplies, you need a fuse, an explosive potion, a plane satchel, and some dynamite. Create the plane satchel. You do. There's a client update. If you don't update your client, this won't work at all. Come up here. Use the bomb on just anything over out here, and you get a reward. You don't always get a reward ball. You. I think it has a. There's six multiple. You know, there's. I think there's six options. Um, so we just got the double clue box right there. But as you saw, that wasn't bad. That didn't take much time. The recording is only 4 minutes and 50 seconds. And you can get some pretty decent rewards. I will um, show you a little bit of what they look like. If I can remember the IDs. Nope. Reward ball. 
couldn't come up with a better name than Reward Ball. <laughs> uh, 20. So, every time you open one, you have a chance... Oh, there's weird lag right there. But you get components. So there's six possible different like kinds of components you can get, and there's different amounts. Um, so that's why I always spawn 20. And you can see this kind of word. So this is this is going to definitely be a lot of cash. A lot of these items have straight cash value. You get paper scraps, you get cash. So I know a lot of people have been concerned about money um, being in the game. That's never going to be an issue. Money is always easy to add and it's always easy to get rid of, as you can see. So this minigame should be good for those people that are cash strapped. I imagine a lot of people will be camping it while the event is out. Um, speaking of which, the event is ending on the 8th of April, which is a Wednesday. I thought... Ooh. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. That's why I thought I was, I, I was actually going to end it on the Monday, the 6th. So you guys get two extra days because I'm stupid and didn't look at the I didn't look at a calendar. You know, I have a Chow Chow calendar right next to me, and then there's obviously the computer calendar. I mean, I whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, um, in terms of other news, you can now exchange all void items at once. Bludgeon pieces have more value. Um, some some God of War two changes. Aloon's attacks were flipped. Uh, so people might be confused at this. It's it's max hit for range was thirty eight. And its max hit was for melee was 60. Basically, its melee stats were for its range. Its range stats were for its melee. But I, it's a range-based attacker, so it should be flipped. And melee should be the secondary phase. So now, basically, just play range instead of melee. And I, I don't know if that affects people's gear. Maybe maybe having a tankier gear setup might work. I, I don't know. I also lowered her health by 500. So she's a smidge less tanky. Well, one-fifth less tanky, to be honest. Athanakos attack speed. I don't know why. It was set to, like, 8. Which means he gets two attacks in by the time you get one attack in, and that's unnecessary, so I increased that a little bit. And then also lowered his slash and crush defense because um, they were supposed to be lower, really. They, 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 were, they were higher than I, th I thought they were when I was looking at the files. Um, the Seradwin's Blood Sword is now, uh, has a bigger bonus against Acton Echoes. Miracle Trident is now better against Mammoths. I'm actually curious to this one myself. I might make a worth it video. Um, or at least test it out, and then if it's good, then make a worth it video. But we'll see. Um... The chances of getting Dark Stones has been increased because there are two new items. There is the dark weapon called the Juggernaut. And uh, I will show you this. So it is kind of like a rapier. It does not hit as fast as a rapier. You need a rapier to make it. It has better stats. Um... You can see the rapier is like in the 20s. So you can see it's... It, it, it's honestly got potential to be either... Not useful at all, just because it's not as fast as a rapier, or it could be broken because it's good and still fast. Um, the same speed as the scythe, and it's one-headed. So I'm curious to see how this uh, goes. You know, goes. It could be one of those things where it could be too overpowered, it could be too little overpowered. Yes. Um, so it has a basically looks like a D long. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I didn't give it a special attack just because I couldn't think of anything good. But um, these are probably bad monsters to test it on because I like, one shot them. But let me show you a little bit. Crabs. Crabs. Robot. You got to be right next to it. He'll get it. He'll get it. He'll get there. I use the attack animation for the Elven Battle Axe. <laughs> okay, the Leaf Blade Battle Axe, and I think it looks nice. I'm very happy with this weapon. How it turned out. I'm very curious to see how it like actually goes in terms of if it becomes good or not. It's I've seen 70s with this thing, so don't sleep on it. Definitely don't sleep on it. Keep in mind, I'm not like in full gear or boosted or anything like that either. So decent hits, but um, and then there's the shield, the apex shield, which is a combination of the lucky shield, the slayer shield, and the dragon shield so you need all three of those to make it but it's all three of them combined so if we spawn one it has the slayer shield effect where you can, can, can get slayer tasks it also has the damage boost when you're on task it has luck boost the same as a lucky shield and then it protects you against dragons which is now that i'm thinking about it something i never tested let's test that together we're gonna learn we're gonna see I do, i'm so burnt out on this update there's one thing i had left on my on my like to-do list and that's this item called Watts, Watson's Briefcase. And it was going to teleport you to, like, all of the popular point shops. Like, the Pest Control Shop, 
which is our shop, the fossil shop. It'd be like a, a fast way of getting around, because that's something a lot of people do in this game. Just That's just kind of the nature of revival. Even when the event's not here, you'll still find a use out of that item. I just, I was just so done. I was like, oh man, we gotta get this out. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a mini update throughout the week, and I'll, I'll get that added. Uh, okay, can you attack me? Can you attack me, please, to show that it works, or does it work, and we can figure it out? Uh, <laughs> of course. Is there anything else that they're not really? Oh, um, every box has the same rarity. Well, not every, pretty much every box has the same rarity system, and this is what it was: one thousand two hundred sixty-five six, and then it's been increased for the rare items. So basically, rare items from boxes should be more common now, slightly. And basically how these this, this system works, add all the numbers combined, and then it's 8 out of whatever the you know, combination is. What, what is 1275, right? Um, so that's the chance that's how it works. Did you ever... Are you, are you, no. It should say something in my chat, like, your shield protects you from Vorkath's Wrath. I'm just going to assume it works. Bye. Thanks for watching. Um... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the update. If you have any problems, any suggestions, let me know. I know everybody seems to be having issues right now, but I, but they'll be fine. It, 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 every, once more information's out there, you'll be good.